in the fading twilight of the Ice Age, an extraordinary species walked the Earth, Neanderthals. For hundreds of thousands of years, these distant relatives of ours thrived across Europe and Western Asia, braving harsh climates and evolving alongside early Homo sapiens. But who were the Neanderthals really? What secrets lie buried in the caves and valleys they once called home? Join us as we step back in time, uncovering the remarkable story of the last Neanderthals and the mysteries that still surround their existence. As the Ice Age tightened its grip, the world of the Neanderthals began to shrink. Once widespread from the Atlantic coasts to the mountains of Central Asia, their population slowly dwindled. The reasons were many, harsh climate shifts, changing landscapes, and the arrival of a new competitor, the Homo sapiens. Archaeological evidence reveals a gradual retreat, with Neanderthal communities abandoning vast stretches of Europe and Asia. Their disappearance wasn't sudden or dramatic, but rather a slow vanishing, marked by isolated groups clinging to familiar territories. In Northern Europe, advancing glaciers transformed forests into frozen tundra, making survival ever more challenging. In the East, competition for resources with modern humans intensified. Each decade, each generation saw fewer Neanderthals as their world became smaller and more fragmented. Yet, even as their numbers declined, Neanderthals continued to adapt, developing new hunting strategies, seeking new shelters, and holding on to the traditions that had sustained them for millennia. But the pressures mounted, and soon only a few scattered groups remained, their fate hanging in the balance. Southward, in the sun-soaked landscapes of Iberia, a final stronghold emerged. Sheltered by coastal cliffs and mild Mediterranean breezes, the last Neanderthals found a temporary sanctuary. Archaeological sites revealed that these survivors persisted thousands of years after their kin had vanished from the rest of Europe. Why did Iberia become their last refuge? Geography played a crucial role. Mountains and seas created natural barriers, slowing the advance of Homo sapiens and preserving pockets of Neanderthal life. The environment offered new opportunities. Abundant shellfish, nesting seabirds and edible plants provided sustenance when traditional hunting grew difficult. In these final chapters of their story, the Neanderthals showed resilience and creativity, adapting to new diets and developing distinctive tools. Their legacy, preserved in ochre-painted caves and ancient ornaments, offers a glimpse into a vanished world and uh, the remarkable endurance of a uh, species on the edge of extinction. Picture the last Neanderthals surviving in the rocky caves of southern Spain. In the sunlit lands of Gibraltar and Malaga, a small group made their final stand. These Neanderthals were intelligent, showing adaptation, creativity, and resilience. As the time ended, they left behind clues, whispers from a lost world. Their last strongholds were the caves of Gorham in Gibraltar and El Bajondillo in Malaga. These sites hold the most recent Neanderthal remains, dating to about 37,000 years ago. Some findings suggest they survived in Gibraltar until 28,000 years ago. Scientists think southern Iberia's mild climate and isolation delayed Homo sapiens' arrival, giving Neanderthals a parowosh, tempertos, a temporary refuge. The last Iberian Neanderthals left hints of cultural and technological advances in caves like La Pasiega, Ardales, and Maltravieso. Researchers found paintings over 64,000 years old, long before Homo sapiens arrived. Simple red ochre marks, hand stencils, and abstract symbols show early artistic expression. At Los Aviones Cave, pigment-stained seashells suggest symbolic behavior among Neanderthals. Neanderthals in Iberia refined their stone tools using the Levallois method, producing precise and efficient tools. Some evidence shows they reworked old tools, showing adaptability and planning. As their environment changed, so did their survival strategies. The last Neanderthals of Gibraltar adapted to coastal life, eating shellfish, seals, and even stranded dolphins. Did the last Neanderthals interact with Homo sapiens? Some sites suggest brief coexistence in Iberia. At El Bajondillo cave, Homo sapiens' arrival matches Neanderthals' disappearance, hinting at conflict, assimilation, or competition. The reasons for their extinction are still debated. Climate change, competition, and disease may, may have contributed. Their final years in Iberia show a species evolving and adapting until the end. The last Neanderthals were not primitive. They were artists, problem solvers, and survivors. Today, Neanderthals may be gone, but their story isn't over. Their DNA lives on, inside us. Modern humans of non-African descent carry between 1% and 2% Neanderthal DNA, a silent inheritance that shapes us in subtle ways, from aspects of our immune systems to the texture of our skin and hair, 
traces of our ancient cousins are woven into our biology. These genetic echoes remind us that human evolution is not a straight line, but a tangled web of connections. The Neanderthal legacy challenges us to rethink what it means to be human and to recognize the shared history written in our very cells. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the last Neanderthals, leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to follow us for more fascinating content on ancient history and human evolution.